In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will take a look at analysis of trusses and frames, wherein we will learn about trusses and their applications. We will also learn about the assumptions made in the analysis of trusses and then analysis of trusses by method of joints. Previously, we have learned about the equilibrium of a single rigid body or a system of connected members treated as a single rigid body. We first drew a free body diagram of the body showing all the forces external to the isolated body and then we applied the conditions of equilibrium. In this chapter we will be using the equilibrium conditions for the determination of forces internal to a structure that is forces of action and reaction between the connected members. An engineering structure is a connected system of members built to support or transfer forces and safely withstand the loads applied to it. In this chapter we analyze some types of structures namely trusses and frames. The truss is one of the major types of engineering structures. It provides both a practical and economical solution to many engineering problems, especially in the design of bridges and buildings. A truss consists of thin slender members which are pinned, connected at the ends thus forming a joint. The loads act only on the joints and not on the members. The following are the basic types of trusses. The planar truss is simply a two-dimensional truss which lies in a single plane. A space frame truss is simply a three-dimensional truss. Actual structures are made of several two-dimensional trusses joined together to form a space frame as shown. In our course, we will only be dealing with two-dimensional, that is, planar trusses. The following are the main applications of trusses. Roof truss is one of the most common and widely used applications of truss. Such a truss is designed to carry the load of a roof at its top. The roof over a railway platform is usually supported on a truss and even the roof of a stadium is supported on a truss. A bridge truss is used to support the floor of the bridge. There are different types of bridges where bridge trusses are used. Railway and road bridges are usually bridge trusses. The electrical transmission towers are also a widespread application of trusses. An electrical transmission tower is simply a vertical steel truss. Such a truss carries the load and tension of the heavy electrical cables supported on them. The microwave transmission towers are also an important application of trusses. A microwave transmission tower is simply a vertical steel truss. Such a truss carries the load of the heavy parabolic antennas.